Hey everybody, welcome back to my series professional video production on a shoestring budget. I just want to do a quick review of the uh, Chrome OS Flex operating system, uh, an alternative operating system that you can install on your on your machine. Apparently you can this will work on either on both PC and Apple. Um, I've had it on this machine for about six months and I'm really happy with it. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go online and um, make sure your, your machine is compatible with this operating system. Most, most machines are. Um, this machine is about five years old and it worked fine. Um, so you're going to want to do that first. They'll tell you that even if your machine is not on the list, there's a good chance it will work. But check that list out. Like I say, most machines are on there. Um, so what you do is you have to create a boot disk and um, you know boot off your boot disk to install the uh, the operating system it's pretty straightforward there's lots of information and lots of good videos on the on the web that'll walk you right through the um, that'll walk you right through the process so I mean I'm not a I'm not a techie geek speak expert by any means but I got through it pretty easy so so it's pretty easy to do so as I said, what this does is it turns your machine into a, into a Chromebook. So not all of your programs will work on this. Um, anything with a .exe extension won't work on this. comes with 15 gigs of cloud storage. Uh, and your apps are cloud-based apps. They do have quite a few apps there now. One of them, if you, if you like... MS Word, they have a, an app called MS365 that I believe is free. And there's a lot of other apps there. But you can see this performs well. This is the HP Stream pin in the butt laptop with the 32 gig hard drive. And, and I've done videos on this machine in the past. And I just got tired of restoring it. And I thought I would, I was ready to try something like Linux or, or this Chrome OS. I came across this Chrome OS Flex which is basically a Linux based system and I thought I'd try it and, and it's just it's great I'm really happy with it it works really well Microsoft has just announced that they will no longer support Windows 10 um, which I find pretty lame and so of course you might be worried about security if you're running Windows 10 well this is a good option everybody I, I can't find anybody on the internet that's had problems with security with uh, with this with this operating system so this seems like it's a good option so as I said I've installed this on this HP stream laptop and I've also installed it on a HP ProBook and a Toshiba satellite both machines about 10 years old the uh, HP ProBook wouldn't boot up anymore it was hanging up on the uh, logo and I thought I thought, oh, I guess the machine's toast. And I got my Gala new machine, and then I put this on it. It runs like a brand new machine now. And I also did my buddy's Toshiba satellite. And and my buddy just isn't into computers. He just wants to turn it on and, and, and have it work. So he hadn't been running any kind of cleanup program, so it was all full of junk and stuff. And, and after 10 years, it wasn't even usable anymore. It was just, it was so slow. It wasn't even usable, so I installed this, and it's like a brand new machine now. So, so there you go. Anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to do. A, I just wanted to do a quick review of this for you. Um, if you're worried about Windows 10 not being supported anymore, this might be an option for you. But before you do it, do some research, go online, see what apps are there for you. Make sure it's going to work for you, because it's it's definitely it's a different it's a different machine than your than a traditional. Uh, Windows operating system. Anyway, thanks for watching and check out my series, Professional Video Production on a Shoestring Budget. Go to my YouTube channel, Edward Homer, and, um, and at the YouTube channel you'll find uh, a heading that's called um, Playlist, and you'll see all my playlists there. I've got a lot of documentaries, mostly featuring Vancouver Island, as well as uh, my professional video production series where you'll find lots of you'll find lots of handful 
lots of handful of videos there that will make your video production better. So cheers everybody. Thanks for watching.